Please pause for a moment of silence. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Miss Weatherall goes on the hot seat for another edition with 30 seconds with. And a Northwest High School teacher was on board the Carnival Cruise Triumph when it caught fire and was stranded. Hear her story today on NHS TV. If you're a senior and would like to network with future employers, or get job interviewing tips, you should apply for the Alliance Leadership Conference on March 8th. See either your counselor or Ms. Fanning in room 900 for details. In club news, Northwest Texans Airsoft will be meeting in Ms. Swindell's room today after school. Anyone can join. The Creative Writing Club is sponsoring a free movie night tomorrow in the lecture hall starting at 5.30 p.m. Toy Story 3 and the Lorax will be shown. Bring money for concessions to support the literary magazine. And last, if you didn't make this morning's National Honor Society meeting, be sure to go to the meeting after school in room 2301. There will be a free CPR clinic in the South Gym after school today from 4 to 6.30 p.m. This is hosted by Health Occupation Students of America for students who want to learn CPR and help save a life. Snacks will be provided, so bring a friend. National FFA Week is almost over. FFA has many areas where you can experience the life of agriculture. In the classroom where you learn to understand the many fields that are tied into agriculture. The Ag Department also manages a greenhouse, home to the floral design class. Students have the opportunity to run the Texan Blooms Floral Shop, which provides them with hands-on experience in running a business. FFA is not all about animals, but the Ag Barn house approximately 100 animals each year, from cattle, sheep, goats, and pigs. And these are just some of the opportunities they offer. You see her in the hallways or maybe even in her classroom, but do you know anything about her? Well, if not, here's Miss Weatherall in this week's edition of 30 Seconds With. Hello, Northwest. I'm Ross Campo. And I'm Deb Fordberry. And this is 30 Seconds With. Mrs. Weatherall. All right, so, and we're gonna start in three, two, one, and go. Shakespeare or Nicholas Sparks? Uh, Shakespeare. Uh, Tupac or Biggie? Uh, neither. Who shot first, Han Solo or Pluto? Uh, Han Solo. Uh, math or science? Neither. Book, <laughs> books or Kindle? Books. AOL or MSN? Uh, I have no clue. <laughs> older music or today's music? Uh, older. Uh, would you rather go back in time or go to the future? Uh, Go back in time. All right, and that's 30 seconds with, and have a good day, Texans. Most of us have heard the national news story of the Carnival cruise ship named Triumph that broke down in the Gulf of Mexico last week. But did you know that one of our very own Texan teachers was on that ship? Carrie Gleason set sail with Miss Morrissey in an in-depth interview. Hey Texans, I'm here with Miss Morrissey. She was on the Carnival cruise ship that broke down in the Gulf of Mexico. Can you run me through exactly what happened? The ship actually caught on fire at about five o'clock in the morning. And when uh, I was actually asleep, because it's five o'clock in the morning, and they came over to the intercom and said, uh, Alpha team to the engine room, and we knew something was wrong. So we got up and went up top to the top deck and we went out on the top deck, we could see the smokestack, and there were large billowing clouds of smoke coming from the smokestack, which was kind of scary, but I mean, we weren't sinking or anything, so we just kind of had a seat and hung out and waited until 
um, you know, they told us what was going on. And so then, a little while later, the uh, power went off, at the, and we didn't have any water or power or anything like that. And since everything in the cruise ship is run off the power, then that means there's no, no cooking food, no toilets, no nothing. How relieved were you once you got back to shore to have working facilities? You really, you, you really don't appreciate <laughs> the things that we have in civilization until you go without Dude, them. If they weren't working on the ship, what did y'all have to do? Well, um, we had, well, when she first came on and said that the toilet situation was an issue, and this was a British lady who was our cruise director, so you have to imagine her saying this in a very, very British accent. She said that if you have to go number one, then you should go in the sink or the shower. In the sink. Or if you have to go number two, then they have red biohazard bags that you could place in your toilet and you could utilize. Uh, reporters say that the crew was extremely helpful. The crew was absolutely amazing. They always made us feel safe at all times. They also fed us constantly. We always had lots of food and water. They also cleaned up after us. Because of the toilet situation, there were some sewage leakages, but they always cleaned up all the all of the messes that were there, and they did it with a smile on their face. Not many people can say that they're cleaning up after 3,000 people and still be jovial about it. How did they repay you or compensate for all this? We actually were compensated quite well. We got our entire cruise refunded, and all the charges that we had on board were waived. We also received all of the pictures that we had made on the ship. We received those for free. We also received a voucher for a future cruise in, on Carnival Ship, and we received $500 a person. Okay, well, Ms. Morrissey, thank you so much for coming in and sharing your story, and we're glad you're back. For NHS TV, I'm Carrie Gleason. Back to you, anchors. To see the full version of this interview, visit our website, www.nhstvonline.com, and click the YouTube link. That wraps up today's show. Tune in tomorrow for your chance to win two Harkins Theater movie tickets. Have a terrific Thursday, Texans.